So let's see, that's gonna give us this. So this is gonna be one over eight times the square root of X. So the minus sign is like an elevator downstairs and then the half is like a square root. And then we'll have minus one over X squared. Okay, so we got something like that. And like I said, we wanna find out where that is equal to zero. So let's see, we can move some stuff around. We'll have one over eight times the square root of X equals one over X squared. And then we can take the reciprocal of both sides um, or do cross multiplication, kind of the same thing, right? So we could do cross multiplication and we'll get X squared equals eight times the square root of X. Now, next up, what I wanna do is get all of the X's on one side of the equation, but I can do that by dividing by the square root of X. Now, carefully, you should think, am I allowed to divide by something with this variable? Because whenever you're dividing something Thing with a variable, you're saying that cannot be equal to zero, right? Because you can't divide by zero. But we're in good shape here because look at this, this uh, square root of X is never equal to zero based off of our thing right here, right? So that's what we'll do. We'll take this and we'll multiply it by, yeah, one over the square root of X. So that's going to give us an X to the three halves equals eight. But then what we can do is raise both sides to the two thirds power, and that's gonna give us X equals eight to the two thirds. But then we can rewrite it in terms of roots and powers. So this is gonna be the cube root of eight squared. And you can put that square in or out of the radical. I think putting it outside the radical is a little bit better because you want to simplify it before you make it bigger. Like it's, it, you get to work with smaller numbers that way. 